All right, welcome back. Uh, one of the things on my to-do list is to go around and clean up the uh, the backdrop, especially where scenery got got broken. Uh, so, so sort of clean up after myself from that uh, install. Um, so I've got a seam there that's pretty obvious. You didn't need my, my giant hand in the way to see that one. Um, what I want to do is come in with a toothpick and some of the adhesive and work it back behind uh, what's there, kind of both ways, and sort of smooth that out. And as I work my way around, remember I was having to cut the bottom of it to get it to fit right. And so there's a few places, maybe kind of hard to see, unless I zoom in. I've actually started sticking some scenery back in here, but if I take this piece out, you can see I cut it a little high. And I had to, to get it in there. So I'm gonna kind of, this is some, some scenery that I made, just bushes and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna use scrap pieces and whatever to kind of hide the bottom of that as you go. I don't know if you can kind of see it under there. There's a little gap. Um, this camera works not very good there. Now you can sort of see the bottom of the photo backdrop. So I just wanna cover that up with, with foliage and scenery and stuff, and then come in and, uh, and replant trees. Uh, also was a little over aggressive with where I cut it over here. So I've tried to piece it back together. Um, and I feel like I've, I've largely done that just a couple of places to come back in and, and sort of reattach. Uh, you can see there's a little seam going horizontally there behind that, uh, tree trunk. I want to get that, uh, kind of fixed. And again, I will hide that with, um, you know, bushes and stuff like that. Then going across here, same thing. There's a bunch of trees missing from the corner there. Let me pull out here if I can. There we go. You can see all along the bottom there. I cut too much of it off. So again, just coming along that back line with, uh, uh, here I've kind of done some stuff where I'm building up that undercover a little bit. Um, and also there was some, some places along there and up that side where this, this piece that's over here was kind of peeling off a little bit. So I kind of worked in there. <laughs> it's just, I'm going to ruin a paintbrush with this uh, adhesive, the spray adhesive. I just sprayed a bunch on a piece of cardboard, used the paintbrush, and I bent a little toothpick so that I could get, kind of hard to do that looking through the viewfinder, but this way I can, I, I, what I was doing was putting the adhesive here and I could work it up along the underside of the backdrop over there without getting it on the front because the ground was in my way. So uh, that's not how <laughs> these things are supposed to be installed. Um, like I said in the in the installing the backdrop video, it's supposed to be, you know, when I get over here and there's no scenery, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's real easy to do there. And if I pan back slowly behind me, that's not a very slow pan. When I did Manchester, all those buildings came out. This part was easy, went in, Went in real nicely. So just cleaning up the mess. This was uh, on the top of the list of, uh, of to-do uh, to sort of repair that and, and build the trees back up. So I'm gonna get into some scenery here and uh, I'll keep checking in as, uh, as I make progress. Okay, I think that seam is about as good as I'm gonna get it. And I've been, I started right here on the edge of that brick building and started my, working my way right to left using some different uh, scenery products, some uh, some purchased, some homemade, uh, just gluing them in there under the trees, kind of hiding that bottom of the backdrop. Across there, all the way over. And then this, this rock face here is starting to curve away from the backdrop. So if I pop up, let's see, what a good view there. Um, starting on the left side of the track there where it comes out of staging and uh, all the way back to the corner. And then I am, use some scissors to point here, right about there. That's how far I've come with the scenery. Um, bushes and weeds and stuff. Uh, just trying to hide the bottom. So I need to come across here, um, really all the way across there. You can kind of see there's a lip there. So I've been at it about half an hour, um, but I love scenery and I don't think I've really done any since I started my channel back in, uh, oh gosh, April. So 
this is a fun change of pace, even if it is sort of repair. Um, but I feel like with that backdrop behind it, it's it's really starting to starting to pop. So yeah, that's uh, that's where we are. I'll keep plugging along. This is fun. And just to show sort of some of the stuff I'm using here, um, this is Morton Wilberg Studios uh, Type E High uh, bushes. Um, I'm using three different colors of this. Um, this is spring green, which is kind of a. It's interesting that it's called that because it's kind of a uh, a darker a darker color. And then this is um, moss green, which to me is more brown, especially if I put it next to the green, uh, kind of looks like fall foliage or, and I'm trying to model late summer. So, um, I, I mix in a bunch of that. And then this is light green, which is really, really bright. And I use it sparingly. Let's see if I can find a few spots of it. Yeah, there's a, there's some back there. You can see that bright green right in the center of the frame. Um, some smaller bits of it right there but mostly I use the other two. Um, you can see some of that, oh, sorry for the shaky camera, right there, some of the uh, the browner colored one, the moss green, uh, which I like a lot. I also use that so for some of this, you know, sort of dry looking stuff that's in here. It's a lot of that same thing. You can see some right there um, and all across there. That's not new. I've been I've been using that. Um, I also mix in some Mini Nature the Tufts. So I've got Autumn, which is kind of a brown that's similar to that moss green. I use let's see, that's the spring one. Uh, this is all long buffalo grass tufts, but that's the spring one. It's kind of a lighter green, and then this is a nice dark green with some. Uh, you know, the long, some of the longer ones are sort of that brownish color. So if you look at it from the side, that's really what, you know, grass starts to look like late in the summer. Those long strands of it are sort of that tannish brown color with the green underneath. And um, let's see, which one is this? That's summer. So I like this one a lot. I use it a lot. Otherwise, um, this is from here over is sort of homemade stuff. This uh, stringy looking stuff is coconut coir from like a hanging basket and you can kind of take it and tease it apart. And then I spray uh, the same sort of spray adhesive that you use for the backdrop. Uh, you spray that stuff on the teased apart coconut coir and then just sprinkle in different uh, textures and colors of ground foam. So you get this kind of nice rugged, you know, brambly, weedy sort of mess. And then um, those are just super trees I haven't made yet. These are all the broken ones, but as branches break off, I typically take those and use them as the shorter little small pieces. So if I show here, there's some of that right there. And as I pan across, now that I've said what everything is, you'll see there's a lot of that stuff mixed in. And I just kind of mix it all together. I have fun with it. I, I, I really enjoy this part of the hobby and I'm, I'm getting a kick out of uh, spending a little time doing this. Haven't done this in a while. All right, well, it's about an hour and 15 minutes of making scenery and having fun. And I think I've got everything cleaned up and hidden. And I'm happy with, uh, with that repair job. So I'm gonna call that done. You know what else I haven't done in a while? Yeah, on some trains.
Thanks for watching. Hope everyone's well and safe.